Okay, Darwin, here we go. This one is for you, Darwin. As I promised, this is the uh, TechMate Pro that I have. And I'm sure they have much more advanced ones out now for checking uh, variable speed motors. Pretty straightforward. 24 volts. Focus on to your wherever you can pull 24 volts from. It's a mark at the top. It has the uh, module pin. You pull the plug off the bottom of the module that's going to the control board and plug in uh, plug this in the module and an on and off power switch. That's it. If you flip it on and the uh, the motor fires up, then you know that the control board is what's causing the problem if it's not firing up. Uh, if it doesn't fire up when you turn this on, you know that it is either the motor or the module. I Maybe we'll get some other guys to pipe in here uh, if they have a test equipment that will test the motor or the module. Of course, it's a pretty good consensus that everyone says 89% yeah, of the time it's the module that goes out, not the motor. But um, I haven't, actually I haven't even looked for a piece of equipment that tests, uh, that can differentiate between the two. But maybe someone else out there has a method or a piece of equipment that will do that. Anyway, uh, there you go. So this is the TechMate. There's, uh, I think Zebra makes one, and there's probably a couple other companies make one. There's uh, another version, I think, TechMate that has little test variable speeds, but, I mean, it's either on or it's off. It tells you if it's working or not. Anyway, there you go, uh, Darwin. Uh, thanks, guys. I uh, hope you all are having a great weekend. Bye.